is Goosey a Gooseyong? Today, we are going to make a table like this. First, we create a cuboid here in the top view. Get the dimensions right first. This is 700. It looks like 1.4 meters over here. If this is the wrong size, you can change it later. So the size is not very important right now. I'll give you a height of 750. Then we turned it into an editable polygon. And then choose this side. Isolate it. Show in isolation. Select this face. Let's insert it. Let's look at this thickness. It's about a 70 millimeters. Let's insert 70 into it. Delete this side. Cut out the bottom side. Then put the bottom vertex. Give it alignment and pull it down. Pull it down here. And then there's an edge in the middle here. This vertex goes out a little bit to the right. In this case, it's smaller underneath. Something like this. And then delete this side. Or you can leave it at that. Give it a thickness first. Give me a thickness of 70. I think it's internal or external. It should be inside 70. And then choose this side. I'm going to symmetry it up here. Add a symmetry modifier. Y axis symmetry. Flip it over. No, it's the Z axis. The Z axis is symmetric over there. Then in front view, put this vertex. Pull the vertices out here. 20 something. That's about it. Readjust. A little bit over here. Something like that, okay? And then select this vertex. And then we'll adjust this position. Delete this side. Mainly this position can be done well. Select this edge to connect a line. Pull it flat on the Z axis. There's a side here too. Pull the X axis flat. Now it's mostly a horn. Make it have to form a rounded corner. You can't do that with rounded corners in this position. So we need to modify this wiring. I'm going to delete that face down here. Here the ring selection connects an edge. And then this spot is connected to it. Link up like this. Have a look. This is how to change. This side goes here. This connects here. 
And then this one goes on like that. Here the ring selection is connected to an edge. Each face is given to sides. This location connects here. Try it first. This should be connected like this. It forms a little corner here. Remove this edge. Remove this way. Get here. Turn this trap off for him. No need to capture. This one goes through again. Let's hook it up again, here. Let's stop here. OK. It actually has a little bit of rounded corners down here. A little, not a lot. In that way, We'll give it an edge down here, too. Give it straight that doesn't seem to work. Let's use this quick slice again. Cut another edge over here. Cut another edge. OK. And then select this vertex and give it some symmetry. Selective mirror. Give it a spin in the top view. It's only right. Then convert it to editable polygons. We give it a turbo smooth. NERMS smoothing. You can see it now has some rounded corners. Select this edge and give it a stream. Subtract the ones inside. Subtract here and give it a stream. It forms a rounded corner like this. But the rounded corners are still not enough. So choose this side and this side. Subtract the top one. Give it another stream. And then choose this side. Double subtraction. Let's set the stream. So it has a certain radian. Relatively perfect. Reselect it. Decrement. Again to set the stream, here. Then select here to deselect settings stream. Give a turbo smooth, and then we have this radian. And then this position has to be changed. This curvature is definitely still wrong. Give it a stream. This arc is too big. Pick these two sides and the growth loop pulls to the right. Keep it far away. Make it a little bit more curved. And then choose this side.
Let's add another edge here. Quick slice. And then choose this side. Let's set the stream. It creates a rounded corner. But the rounded corners seem a little too much. Go back one more time. Its rounded corners feel very hard. Let's reselect this side and cut the corners. Cut corners here too, including this one. Then select the top line. Subtract this one. Let's cut the corners on it. So it's got a pretty obvious strangulation mark here. But this corner is not that hard. Let's see what we can do with it, okay? Choose this side to grow the ring. And then the constrained edge is pulled down a little bit. So here the growth loop constraint pulls a little bit to the right. And then let me take a look at the top. The top corners seem to be quite stiff. It's softer down here. So let's pick this side again. Give it a stream. Now it's recessed. But this position has to be pulled down. Remember to remove this constraint to the edge before setting the stream. And then this position pulls it down again. Level here. You can't recede here. It's going to pull down. I want to pull this out a little bit. This vertex is pulling out a little bit. Or maybe not here. Let's see. It's not perfect here. Select this edge again to set the flow. Now let's go to this minus option. Give it another stream.
And then to this one. Give it a stream too. Let's solder this target point. This vertex connects here. That's okay too. Let's look at it again. It should be okay. Or adjust it to make it smoother. You can't really see the original here. What does it look like? The top side is pretty hard anyway. This side is very hard. Yes. And then we go to this side. Subtract the top one. to set the stream. Subselect here. Give it another stream. And then to this one. Also give it a stream. And then to this one. Let's symmetry it across. Select this vertex. Go symmetrical over there. Select the mirror image and rotate it. Just spin it around. Then convert it to editable polygons. Remove this edge. And then select this edge and give it a stream. Growth cycle. Reset flow. Pick this side and pull it up along the local normal. And then choose this side. Give it another stream. Make the position feel more gentle. That should be okay. We don't have to worry about the triangle right now. Save it for later, and we'll do it after we collapse the model. Let me check again. This side should actually be left out for now. Remove it first. And then this side. Subtract this side. The x-axis 
is flat. Just pull it out for a second because we need to squeeze it out a little bit more. And then choose this side. The y axis is even. Subtract the top one. The y axis is even. And then line it up again. And then select this side. I'm going to remove this side, and then I'm going to select this side. Squeeze it out again. Make it a 10 or a 20. And then pull this vertex back. Align here. Align it here. Pull this vertex back. This vertex pulls back. OK. Delete this side. And delete this side. Then pick this side and cave it in. No problem. And then choose this side. This way, this way. Here, cut the corners again. Cut a small corner. Cut the angle by two. Let me have a look. So it has a hard edge. Let's look at it again. Its horn doesn't look that big. The angle we made is a little bit bigger. It would be hard to change now. You can pull it out a little bit. It's hard to pull. You can pull it out again like that. And then this side can come out a little bit more. So it doesn't look so big in this radian. Make it too big, and the angle doesn't look exactly like the original. This corner in the original is not that big. So be it. Okay. Let's look at it again. It seems to be concave in the middle of this position. It's very flat here. Let's take a look at the turbine. It's not bad. We'll do the trigonometry after we've smoothed the turbine. The bottom of the foot should be rounded first. Select this border first and seal it. And then select this face and give it a geometric polygon treatment. And then delete this side. In fact, 
You can do the following rounded corners without deleting them. Let me see how big this angle up here is. It seems pretty big, too. Let's insert it first. One more time. Cave in. I'm going to remove one of these from the other. Pick this side and cut the corners. And then select this edge and select a loop to connect a line, even a side line. Pull it down here. And then choose this side. Give it a stream. This wiring is more uniform. Something like this. Let's give it a symmetry. The vertices here are a little off. That's how it makes sense. And then you can adjust it manually. Okay. Let's make another copy. And then just cave it right in. Give the pulley a smooth to collapse it out. So there's a little bit more of this. And I'm going to select this vertex and I'm going to cut it here. We'll modify the wiring here. Remove these extra edges. You can leave this line alone for now. Let's modify these lines. Not this line.
and then pick this vertex and give it some symmetry. Select the image to rotate over. Convert to editable polygon. Then remove the excess edges. Press CTRL plus Packspace to remove it. That should be all right. There's a problem here. Remove this line. It caved in here. The edge caved in. And then choose this side. It's got a little bit of a dent in it. These two lines can be left out for now. Decrement. Here we squeeze it down a little bit. Zero point two. And the size is 0.2. And then this position. Connect it like this. Remove this edge. So it's got a little bit of a dent in here. Actually, the bottom seam is not very obvious. More obvious above. Let's pick this side again. Choose this side. Give it a stream. Let it bulge. And then this vertex gives it a stream as well. It's got this tiny little slit. But it still doesn't feel ideal. It's going to be a little bit hard again. Let's just give it a little bit of a dent. Maybe the gap we squeezed through was too big. We choose this side again. Give me another 0.1. It's cracked here. So this is what we're going to do with this angle. Remove these edges. That should be no problem. And then choose this side. Connect a center line. Let's connect it again, like this. We'll put a second edge on the side. Get it closer to the seam. So be it. And then we remove these edges. Wrong. It just caved in on it. A 
And then this position connects here. I don't want this one. This one goes right here. I don't want this one. Let's look at this side. This one goes over here. I don't want it over here. Then it has a tiny trace of this seam. Smoothing the turbine twice is better, but it's gonna be hard here. There should be another border up here. This position needs to be pulled in a little bit more. Subtract the bottom one. Pull back a little bit. Don't pull too much. Okay. I guess that's okay. Pull this edge up a little bit. Add another line here. Let's make it a little bit smoother on this side. Let me see if this is a good thickness. And then give it a left and right symmetry. It's symmetric on the z-axis. And then we give it symmetry. Now it's not the right size. We need to change the size again. Let's pick these vertices and pull it over. Put it here. Four meters. And then we draw a box on it. The height is about 20. Convert to editable polygon. Pull it up. Align here. And then select this vertex. Pull the alignment over here. Pull it over here. Something like this. The gap is too big. The gap can't be that big. Let's change it again. Just leave it a little bit open. This gap over here is fine. But it's a little too wide on this side. Pull a little bit more over here. Let's look at this gap over here. 
Not so bad. There's too much going out here. Get here. It's on this line. It's not thick enough. Let's adjust it again. A line here. And then you pick all the edges and you cut the corners. Add a corner cutting command. The tangent angle is 2. The number of segments is 2. Open Insert option. Use stream loop. Make this number slightly larger. I guess that'll do. Then select all the faces to clear all the smoothing groups and give a new smoothing group. No problem. This Chinese table is ready. I forgot that there are two unadulterates down there. There is an Cheng down here. So let's draw a cylinder this big. Give me a zero for the height segment. I'll give you 20 for edges here. Make it smooth. Give me a radius of 15 degrees. The height segment is O. And then select this vertex over here and pull it over. Just stick it in there. That's about it. Choose these two sides. Let's insert it and collapse it. And then choose this side. Cut the angle with this side. I'm going to give you a two. Two segments. Then select this edge and connect the two card edges to 99%. Or give me three edges. Select all surfaces to clear all smoothing groups and give them a new smoothing group. And then make a copy of it. Come over here. That should do it. Okay. This is as far as the table goes. Thank you all. Give me a thumbs up.